In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python through the Jupyter IPython notebook, which comes with the Anaconda package. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Anaconda and Jupyter Notebook. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use Python online without any installation. Now, if you are already a comfortable Python user and you have Python installed on your computer, you might just skip this lecture and the next lecture. Or maybe watch it at twice the normal speed, just in case there's anything new. Now, I generally recommend using Python by installing the Jupyter Notebook locally on your computer. The advantage is that it's a local installation. You don't have to worry about internet access. It's free, it's cross-platform, and if you install Python with the Jupyter IPython Notebook, that's going to be the easiest way for you to follow along with the course, and that's because this is the program and this is the environment that I have filmed this entire course in. The main disadvantage of installing Python locally on your computer is that you need to be able to install new programs. So maybe you're using a shared computer or a computer at your university where you don't have administrator access and you're not able to install new programs. In that case, then no worries. You can just see what I have to say in the next video. So in a moment, I'm going to switch to my browser and go to anaconda.com. So here we are at the Anaconda homepage. It's anaconda.com. Now I've actually had to re-record this part of this video because they have changed their website quite a bit. So in the future, it might be possible that they've done some other design changes. The website might look slightly different from this, but it doesn't matter. You'll be able to find your way around. Okay, so what you wanna do is go up here to products and then click on individual edition. And that's going to bring you to this subpage and you can scroll down and then we want to go on download, which actually just brings us all the way down to the bottom of the page. So here you see several uh, options for Anaconda installer. So it's all the same program, but which version you need obviously depends on your operating system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And it depends on whether you want Python 3 or Python 2. Now, let me say a super important warning. You do not want to install Python 2. Please do not install Python 2. You want only Python 3. The reason is that there is quite a difference between the functionality of Python 2 and Python 3, and it is possible that quite a bit of the code that uh, I provide for you in this course will work fine in Python 3, but it will not work in Python 2, or it might work differently. You might need to make some code adjustments. If you send, you know, if you have some problems with the code, and you, you know, you post a, a question to the Q&A forum, and you say, well, your code doesn't work, but I'm using Python 2, then I'm going to say, well, you know, I'm not even going to try answering your question. Just run Python 3, because that's what the rest of the world is doing. All right. So that said, you pick your operating system, Python 3, and then most likely you're going to be using the 64-bit uh, version, although, you know, it's maybe you have a really old computer or something and you're doing 32-bit, but I guess it's 64-bit. So then it's very simple. You just click here. This is going to start downloading the installer. Now, I'm actually going to cancel this because I already have Anaconda installed here. But once this executable finishes downloading, the installation is super easy. I don't need to go through it with you. All you have to do is open up the installer and then, you know, you click on yes and continue. It's very simple. You don't need to register. You don't need to pay. You don't need to provide your email address or your phone number or, you know, your grandmother's credit card information. You don't need any personal data. All you do is just click, keep clicking yes and eventually it's going to install. When the install finishes, you can then find Anaconda. For example, in Windows, you can find it here. So it's going to be in, where is it, Anaconda here. Or you can also type, you know, you can start typing it in, Anaconda. And you'll probably see a few icons, but the one you want to look for is called Anaconda Navigator. You can look for this pretty nifty little green circle-y thing here. I'm not really sure exactly what that is, but this is the icon that you're looking for. You want the the program called Anaconda Navigator. So we click on that. Of course, you can also make a link to your desktop or wherever you prefer to start your programs from. You will initially get to this screen here, this window. 
Anaconda Navigator. So Anaconda basically provides a bunch of different platforms for you to use Python or R or other languages. And there's different ways of using Anaconda Navigator. There's actually quite a lot that you can do with this. That said, you don't need to worry about any fancy things. You don't need to worry about changing any settings. It's very simple. You just look for this Jupyter Notebook option here, and then you click on Launch. That will open up a new tab in your web browser. So notice that the Jupyter IPython Notebook is going to run inside whatever is your web browser of choice. Now, when you first open it, it's going to show you the folders and files that you have on your computer. So what you want to do is click through here and basically find where you have downloaded the files for this course. The first lecture of every section in this course contains a zip file that you download and that contains a bunch of files and mostly what you're looking for is this Python notebook file. So this is going to be called something, whatever is the section of the course. And then IPYNB for IPython notebook. Now you click on that file. That's going to open up a new tab over here. And this is the file that contains all of the code that corresponds to the code that I go through in the video. Now, I have discussed in the previous video on how to get the most out of this course, how to succeed in this course, that I actually don't recommend just going through and, you know, just kind of running this code each cell at a time without really thinking about it that much. Of course, I recommend writing code in a fresh notebook as you follow along with me. So to get a fresh notebook, you can go over here, click on new Python 3 notebook, Again, make sure you click on Python 3 in case you have older versions of Python also installed. So a new Python 3 notebook, and that's going to open up a fresh notebook for you. So I'm gonna, you can click on Untitled 1 here and rename this to, you know, my favorite notebook. Okay, maybe that's not such a great name, but you know, you get the idea. So in this video, I showed you how to download and install the Anaconda package, which will allow you to use the Jupyter IPython notebook to follow along with this course. This is the way that I recommend following along. I think it's the easiest and most convenient way to participate in this course. That said, if you prefer not to do a local installation or if you're unable to do a local installation, then stay tuned. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do everything online without any local installations.